Hello everyone, I'm Madeline, and welcome to this week's News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Among all the worries of the COVID-19 outbreak, local pet owner Katie Thursland started noticing her dog was having strange health episodes around the same time of the stay-at-home order. And while vets are still open as they are essential businesses, social distancing made it complicated to simply go and find out what was wrong with him. What people don't realize is that social distancing measures are still affecting vet offices too. So he, A, it was a lot of money and ended up draining both of those emergency funds that we had. But also when you take your pet in during a pandemic, like they're not letting you come in with them. So it's a lot of extra coordination on their part. Like you drive up and they take your animal and like you can't go in with them. You don't oh. get a doctor or anything. So you're just kind of like letting your dog or cat go in a building. And you're just like, all right, I can't comfort you, but hopefully you're okay. After visiting the vet multiple occasions, Katie found out her dog had been having seizures and now had to invest even more money for sufficient medicine and take care of him any way she could. Not everyone should expect that their dog is going to end up having seizures and need $4,000 worth of care, but it's definitely something that has changed how I feel about people just like running out and adopting animals. Like, I just think like, do you know how much I'm going to pay for my dog? Like, yeah. I'm nothing for him, but like, unless you have a lot of money right now, it's something you should definitely think twice about. Perhaps in a goal to ease the tension of local citizens during these trying times, on May 26, the City of Santa Clarita's Adult Sports Office announced a virtual disc golf league will be held at Central Park. Several plots of land are currently under reconstruction for the event and will be ready by the time the league starts. Of course, social distancing guidelines will still apply over the course of the competition. Plus, it's completely free to sign up. This disc golf league can give you a good opportunity to get outside and sharpen your skills. And whether or not you've played disc golf before, the Adult Sports Office welcomes all skill levels and age groups to register. The tournament will officially begin July 5th and continue through August 1st. Residents in the Canyon Oaks condominiums find themselves unable to swim in their local community pools. Here's Marvin to tell us more. With public pools shutting down and summer temperatures rising, Residents over in the Canyon Oaks condominiums find themselves with a pool, but no swimming allowed. And when I got to the pool and I was trying to open it with my key, it wouldn't work, and I noticed that it had a big lock on it. As of now, there has been no scheduled date to reopen for the city, so for now residents have no choice but to stay as cool as they can inside their homes. It's going to be a little hard, but, um, I mean, you have to do it, I mean. Yeah, you have to stay away from each other. Residents were also curious why fees that go to amenities such as the pool area are still being charged monthly. I think about it's not fair that association is charging you the extra 300 something if you're not even using the pool. As time moves forward, residents remain in the unknown if conditions are safe enough to reopen. For Canyons News, I'm Marvin Alberto. Here's Moises to tell us more about Hart High School's graduation plan. For the Hard District's classes of 2020, it looked as if graduations were going to be canceled due to the COVID-19 lockdown and would have probably been held online. But on May 21st, Santa Clarita got the okay to hold drive through graduations. Many of us were working through that weekend to create a plan that would enable us to have drive through graduations, working with our partners at the city the sheriff's department, and everybody has, has jumped at the opportunity to give these graduates a chance to celebrate their graduation. The graduations will be held in Central Park off of Bouquet Canyon Road with a long line of cars containing both graduates and their families. The students would get out of the car containing their names on the back window and walk up to the stage to have their pictures taken and their diploma handed to them, all while wearing a cap, gown, masks, and gloves. I, I hear a lot of teachers principals, assistant principals from the schools talking about how impressed they are with some of these kids. And I get to see some of the things that these students are doing. So this is a, a, a very unique group of individuals. And moving forward, I can see them making some great changes that will help us. It'll, it'll be just great. I'm Moises Berrigan, Canyons News. And that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's News Micro. For Canyons News, I'm Madeline Kiefer.